fetching all records from your database in a single query is inefficient. The solution to this issue is pagination. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can implement the pagination in our Nest.js application. This is Sakura Dev channel and welcome back to the Nest.js full course where you can learn Nest.js from zero to hero. So without further ado, let's get in right into it. Okay, I open up our Nest.js project and here if I go to the property module and go to the property controller, you can see we have a fetch all function and it calls the property service dot fetch all function as well. So if I go to the fetch all function of the property service, you can see it calls the property repo dot find. This will return all the records that are in the property table. So if I run the application, Okay, and then go to Insomnia and then send the get request to the slash property API where we call the find all function. This will return all of the records that are in the property table. Currently, we have just 50 records inside the property table, but imagine this table contains millions of records. In this case, it would cause high response time and high server load, and it would actually make your server crashed. So now in order to fix this problem, let's implement the pagination for this API. Okay, back to our Nest.js application. In the property controller and in the get endpoint of this controller, we need to get two query parameters in this API, skip and limit. So first let's create a DTO for these two query parameters in order to validate them. So inside the DTOs directory here, we're going to create a file, call it pagination.dto.ts. And here let's just export a class pagination DTO. And here we need a skip, which is going to be a number and also a limit, which is going to be a number as well. So what are these two parameters? The skip specify the number of records that we need to skip before starting to return the result. And the limit specify the maximum number of records to return in a single query. So for the pagination, we need these two parameters. So let's put some class validator decorators for validating these two parameters. They need to be number. So we're going to use is number decorator and also they need to be positive. So I just use is positive for these two parameters and also they are going to be optional. So I just use is optional here as well. Okay. And then just copy these two decorator and paste it for the limit parameter as well. So this is our pagination DTO and let's save this and go to the property controller and here in order to access to the query parameter of our get API we're going to use the add query decorator that comes from the nest.js slash common and then we can access to the query parameters object we're going to name it pagination DTO and set its type to the pagination DTO class that we have just created okay now we need to send this query object into the find all function and then go to the find all function of the property service and let's define these parameter in the find all function of the property service as well so let's just get back here and copy this line and go to the property service and paste it here just need to import that okay and then we just need to use the limit and skip query parameters inside the find function of the property repo so here let's pass a configuration object to the find function of the property repo this is a type ORM repository so here we can specify skip to the pagination DTO that skip and also we need to set the take parameter here and set it to pagination DTO dot limit so skip is just the skip as I said is the number of records that we need to skip before starting to returns the result set and the take specify how many records that we are going to return in a single query so these two parameter might be undefined because here in the pagination DTO we have set them to optional if the skip parameter here is undefined the type ORM start fetching the records from the first record of the table and if the limits parameter is undefined type ORM start to fetch the records of the table from the skip point all the way to the end of the table so it actually returns all the remaining records from the skip point up to the last records of the table so we can allow that the skip parameter to be undefined we just start returning the records of the table from the first record but we cannot allow the limit parameter to be undefined if the client forgot to specify the limit parameter we can use a default page size 
So here in the src directory, I'm going to create a folder called utils and inside it, we are going to create a file called constants.ts and inside it just export a constant called default page size and just set it to, for example, 10. Okay. Now we can go back to our property service and here we can use the default page size constant in case of the limit parameter is undefined. So we just use the double question mark here and then use the default page size. Okay, so now let's just save the controller and let's go to the insomnia. And here you can see we haven't specified any query parameters for our get API. If I send the request, it returns from the first record up to the record number 10. So obviously it uses the default page size here. Now if I specify a skip query parameter and set it to, for example, 30 and also a limit query parameter and set it to, for example, 15 and send the request, you can see it returns from the records number 31 to the records number 45. So yeah, that's it for applying paginations for our APIs in our NestJS application. So stay tuned for the next episode of this course and have a nice time. Bye-bye.